right, so I ended up coming back. Y'all, I had to come back to show y'all what I did. The face is giving. And the wig, y'all. This is a new wig, of course, that I just showed you guys of me. Wait, what, what am I talking about? <laughs> this is the new wig that I was showing you guys that, um, this is one of the new wigs that I told you guys that I had. This is actually the one I bought the beginning of January and I kind of was like, mm, I don't know about her. Girl, we know about her. She's cute. She is cute. I'm probably going to try my best to lay her down co correctly with my lace band and tie with my hair bonnet. I think I'm going to sleep with this hair wig on because I do got some things and places to go tomorrow. And the way I have laid this down and laid it down, I don't want to have to do this all over again because it's definitely some one, two, three, four, five, six steps. <laughs> To get it to lay like this it's not a quick let me throw it on my head but then again you know what today was a little bit different because i did have to like the unboxing always takes longer but if i did wanted to take this off i think it would be a little bit more quicker but i don't know i gotta get up like really early so i don't think i want to take that chance um i'll just sleep with it on and if i need to take like a couple of um areas need to be touched up with some gots to be <laughs> and then i'll spray some gots to be on but other than that we're going to bed with this wig on. And I'll show y'all tomorrow how she look. I'm going to probably do some flexi rods in here. Sleep with those on. They're not comfortable. But beauty is pain, honey. Beauty is pain. So I'm going to sleep with those. And all of my wonderful hair gadgets. Okay. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. And show you guys how she looks. If you decide to sleep with this wig on. <laughs> so... My makeup didn't do too bad today. I'm trying out the About Face for the second time. I wasn't doing like a wear test or anything like that because I did that yesterday for yesterday's video. And I think she did pretty good. I do have some very um, heavy impact on smile lines. And she definitely, she does intif intensify the... Um, the texture if you have texture skin but besides that she really looks really good right right okay but anywho let me clip my hair i cannot find any of my hair clips so it's time for another she in order because i can't find any of my hair clips and i do remember two of them did break on me all right so what i'm about to do the kids and stuff is with dad right now lyric had a doctor's appointment so they're like way on the other side of town town so they probably won't be home until another i'm gonna say about another like hour so being that it's quiet i'm like i have nothing else to do well i do got some stuff to do but i'm like content filming i am going to do another look while they're gone and usually I like to have my palettes and stuff that I'm going to do like pre-thought out. But I I haven't done that. So let me show y'all what I do. This is a cute makeup. She's cute and everything. But yeah. I'm going to do another look. Because there's been some days where I don't want to film. So yeah. I was like let me just film. So I feel like this is the opportunity to do so. I am saving my eyebrows and my forehead. <laughs> this is what I do when I redo, um, like if I do two looks within one day, this is what I do, y'all. And as you can see, I had my first makeup on, first makeup look on for a good amount of time. I went to work and everything. So now I'm about to do my second one. And because I'm a little OCD on taking my makeup off like this I still sometimes feel like I have makeup on which I I know I do so I'm actually gonna go in and cleanse my face as well but just the bottom half <laughs> and that way I know when I do put on makeup it's gonna be a fresh base because I took all my makeup off and I cleansed it you know and then sometimes when I feel a little you know splurgy in a sense, I'll take my forehead makeup off too, but today I don't want to risk the time. 
I don't even know what palette I'm using. I think it's definitely a new palette day. Let me do that. Because I got a couple of new palettes. A lot, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're going to do the Betty Boo. Hey all today at work. I did some returns. I'll probably insert the clips. I took back my Maybelline lip plumpers back. I took back my NYX Ducks. Took them thing back because they are all very hot. The only ones that I did keep was this really pretty like nude one. I don't know if the camera going to pick it up. But it has a really pretty sparkle. You can see it a little bit. See it? It has some really pretty gold sparkles in it. So I kept this one. And then the other one is kind of like the same formula with the sparkles. You can see I'm a glitter girl. And you can see I'm almost like it's starting to have a little, um, what's it called? What's that thing called? An uh, imprint to where you can tell that I'm using the product. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I was like, I might as well keep it. Like, that me not return it. I'm like, I feel like these were the two shades I kept using. So, yeah, I returned that and a couple of other things. Um, the other About Face foundation shade I had. Um, yeah, I need to buy some more of these so when I go back to work tomorrow. Buy some more of these, but let me show y'all the good new goodies I got from. Yes, these are my gratis. I had a training to do from this brand. Um, if y'all don't know, I think I mentioned it. What the heck was that noise? Sound like it was. Oh, what's that? <laughs> uh, Charlotte Tilbury is now officially at Ulta, so I guess it's kind of like a big thing. I didn't know it was that big thing, but. Um, a um, certain amount of us, we had some training to do and it was a training on, you know, getting more familiar about the Charlotte Tilbury line and she, I know a little bit more about her now and I see the hype and all that. Um, so I'm just excited to overall try the stuff. I will say though, she is very much so pricing. This is definitely would consider a luxury type of brand. Like she's in the category of... Lancome and Estee Lauder, not even Estee Lauder, I don't think, but Lancome definitely like the prices, Gucci, the prices, yeah, she's 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 that brand. So what I got for free, all this for free, I got the Charlotte um, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've heard good things about it, and the way they they were describing this on like their video and everything for their training, like this was like an item that they definitely like. It stays off the shelf because it's such a good item. I just want to know who is spending this much money on this item though. So I think this size right here was a hundred and some dollars just for this size. If it's not a hundred, I might be wrong. I think it was fifty some dollars. Yeah, I think it was fifty some dollars. It was pretty up there with the price. But yeah, I'm excited to try that. This is like a cream, right? Um, apply to your face and neck using the Tilbury. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I heard good things about this. So I just like I think it's just like a nice moisturizer. I don't know if you can use it on top of a like a primer or anything like that, but I got that. And then I got the very popular lip shade Pillow Talk. It's a matte pink color. And then I need to take my Sephora one back because I have one already. But this is a big full size. They didn't even give us like a travel size. They gave us a big one of the setting spray. And then I got this cute little fanny pack little purse bag that says Charlie Tilbury on here. Really cute. Let me actually open this so I can show y'all. See? Cute, right? I have a couple of my coworkers that love to wear this around their waist. And that's because they skinny. <laughs> I'm not hating it because if I was skinny, I probably would too. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Honestly, I don't even think if I was skinny, I will wear this. You know what has to go away for me? It's my boobs. That's that's what it is. But my waist is here and yeah, it's just, I don't know why my boobs is right there. Like, so I'm hoping like when I lose this weight, the boobs go down because I'm like so over them. Like I really am. And then the last two things I got was, what is this? This was the actual foundation and the actual concealer for free. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if these shades are going to be too deep. I think there are. Oh, I think they are. That's one thing when they give something for free, you can't really complain because it's like it's for free. But 
I think this is definitely, oh yeah, this is deep. I don't know. Who the, who the hell? Who the, who the hell? You know what? I got me some good, what's that stuff that my LA girl, LA colors, color correcting. We're going to color correct this and yeah, because it was for free. So I can't return it. It was for free. So why not? I don't know anybody else who's deeper than me. And then I think the concealer is the same shade. I can use the concealer for contour, so I'm not worrying about that. But foundation, yeah. So that's what I got from my work today. I was going to try this stuff out today, but I don't think I, I'm going to save it for another video. Because I think I did want to pick up the bronzer. I think that's one thing I am going to buy from this brand. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. But let me go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do before I know, before it's time is too late and they come home. Because I got to have my makeup done. I need to edit a video. I need to cook dinner. And I need to make sure I work out. All before the night is over with. Yes. May not seem like a lot, but it's a lot. It is currently 3.55. So let's see what I can do. If I can get done by 4.30. Okay, that's the question. That's 30 minutes. If I can get done by 5 o'clock, start dinner at 5.15, 5.30. And while I'm cooking dinner, I could be editing the video. And then by the time dinner's done with, if it's, you know, short dinner, I got to figure out what I'm going to cook. Then I'm going to give me a little workout in. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the gym or if I'm going to do an at-home workout. But I'm getting my workout in. I've been doing so good. And I'm just so proud of myself. But I'll check in with you guys later on. And I did it. Okay, what time? <gasps> oh! Sorry, I'm over here looking at my phone. My son dropped my phone last night. And it had a tiny crack. And I was like, eh, whatever. And I caught myself looking at it yesterday. And I was like, okay, he didn't crack it. No, it cracked some more. Dang it. Yeah, y'all not going to be able to see it. I'm hoping it's the screensaver. And I think it is because it doesn't look that deep. But then again, it looks like it's underneath the screensaver. No, I think it's a screensaver. I'm praying to God it's a screensaver. Because ain't nobody got time to be sitting here paying for no new phone. Okay? Because... Here's my thing about phone insurance. Why is it $200 right off the back? If I'm paying for insurance, I feel like now I got to turn this phone in. Why not? Why not send me my phone for free? Because if I'm sitting here paying on insurance on my phone for over five years, I'm pretty sure I didn't give you all way more than $200. Like, why I gotta pay $200 out of pocket? It's like, gosh, whatever. I know it's still cheaper than me actually buying a full on phone, but I'm just cheap, y'all. Okay, but anywho, I did a full on tutorial, as you can see, using the new Glam Light Betty Boot collection. And I got some critiques to talk about, but y'all hear about them in the video. I don't wanna be repetitive and repeat myself. But yes, here is the makeup. See, y'all can't tell that I, you know, didn't redo my eyebrows didn't do my forehead for the makeup like everything blend in right i changed my top and everything well it's more of a dress but i changed it you know just to make me feel a little bit different and yeah i think i'm gonna go to target though because my kids have lost all of my wig brushes and i can't keep finger combing my my wigs with my fingers because that's not cute like i need a full-on brush um yeah, I can't find any of them. And I had a really good pink flat one. I thought I left it at work, but I went to work and I didn't see it. So I have no clue where it's at. It's probably somewhere in this house. My kids probably got it inside their toy room, one of the toy boxes. But I had like a total of like four different wig brushes that I was rotating. And of course, like I said, the pink one was my favorite. And I can't find none of them. I can't find neither, nada, nada, one of them. I know I need to clean my room. I got to get rid of this box over here, which is just a box of wigs and then some clothes to hang up. Other than that, my room is pretty decent as, as it's going to get, you know, <laughs> and I need to clean up my desk because I had all this makeup stuff to do. But I'll come back later on tonight and do this because I have to go to work late tomorrow so I can stay up a little bit, a tad bit longer tonight. But it is, look, I told you I want to be done, what, 5 o'clock? And I said... Look what time it is. Look, 531. 531. I did good. I want to do another video so bad with me, you know, wearing this makeup. I try to get as many, many videos as in as possible. But 
I don't have anything in mind that I want to do. I know I wanted to bring my lip swatch videos back, but I don't want to wear this eye look. Um, I plan on if I, you know, bring them back. I want to do more of a neutral eye because I'm doing like a lip swatch of different shades. Like I'm not doing like a nude. Otherwise, I'll be okay with this. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do probably this week. We're going to bring them back. But I got to get all my lip colors together with the brands and figure out who I'm going to do next. I thought about doing Beauty Bakery, but I can't find all of my lip products. And I just bought some. I, I know I'll put them up and I have a bad habit of putting things up. And I'll tell myself mentally, I'm like, okay, remember you put them right there. And I'm like, and I'll tell myself mentally too, like, you're not going to remember this. <laughs> you're not going to remember this. And I don't. But I remember physically putting my Beauty Bakery lip products up somewhere. And then the Maybelline's, like, I'm trying to do a full-on lip swatch of these two because i had a lot of maybelline lipsticks but i want to do like different sections of the maybelline's because i have so many but i want to do these but i want to combine them with the other ones the other nude shades but i can't find any of them and i had like a lot of them and i know i did not return them so yeah so let me go ahead and start dinner and then i'm gonna work out take a shower do my editing do you know my mom stuff see my kids because they haven't seen me all day today so i think that's what i have on my agenda for today enough for the room we done with the room okay we're done with the room and uh yeah i'm gonna make for dinner i'm going to make something simple and easy um i'm gonna make some chicken alfredo i'm gonna put y'all in here so we can talk a little bit more Oh, and I didn't record myself, y'all. I should have recorded myself yesterday. I made some amazing, what's the name of it? Hold on, let me get the correct title. It was Cream Cheese Buffalo Chicken Taco. And I know maybe it sound nasty, but I'm telling y'all, the way I made it, oh my gosh, it was so good. Like, I think I'm gonna make some cooking segments like on my other channel. I just don't know how to do it because I feel like my background is always too loud for me to do that. And then I kind of want to make it look very professional. So I need to get some like very easy portable ring lights because the lights that I have, they stay in my room and they don't go nowhere. But I want some like really good sturdy portable lights that I can go in and out, you know, and do some cooking segments. And what else? Um, That's pretty much it. I think that's the only thing I'm, that's bothering me. I can pretty much do a voiceover. Yeah. But I'm going to have to take this wig off. She's cute. She's new. I've had her before, but I had to reorder her again. But she is definitely giving the curls. Oh, the way this is giving right now. Hold up. Yes. Y'all see this? Yes. And I know y'all going to be like, girl, what's the name? I ain't telling y'all because y'all got to wait for the wig unboxing video because i got this one and then i got another one same unit but it's just a different color it has highlights so i'm gonna do a full on i should have did that just now huh i just thought about that i should have did that but oh well i probably want to film later on tonight again another tutorial i know um i'll probably do like a late night session like a good 11 o'clock 12 o'clock um depending on how the kids is we'll see but yeah, I'm about to take this off because I don't like to work out in my good wigs. She's definitely cute. Oh, yes. The more I keep playing with her, I don't want to take her off. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to a weekly vlog. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. Well, let me rephrase that. I have been filming and vlogging my weekly vlogs but I have not been editing them because I, don't know, I just felt like they weren't I don't know so I told myself this week I'm just gonna let things flow whether I vlog two days out of this week it's it's a weekly vlog so what I did for the week okay and I think I was getting hard um I was like critiquing myself in a sense because I was like you're supposed to vlog every day and I'm like no I don't no I don't <laughs> no i don't because there's some days honestly y'all i don't do nothing i just chill and just sit on the couch edit videos photo laundry and y'all don't want to see that 
y'all really don't so anywho um i'm actually about to head to work i got a couple i'm actually early 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 um first time in history woohoo but yeah so i am i need to do some deep cleaning in my room i'm just been like very frustrating and stressing as you guys can see my face it's stress bumps you know yeah so just stressing and all that good job but anywho i am about to like i said leave for work but let me show you guys oh my gosh my hair is like flat as a doorknob right here um yeah I'll clean my room when I get back because I feel like once I start cleaning, it's it's not going to happen. Um, I did pick up some new things. I got the Rim Beauty blushes. I have on the pink one right now. That I feel like you really can't see. So I'm doing like a weird test of the blush and I'm also doing a weird test of the foundation. When I was doing the video um, today, I felt like I needed another shade. But now that everything is like on and like set, I feel like I don't need it. So I don't know. I think I might, but I don't know. And I've been a little MIA, I feel like, especially February, I was like MIA. But I'm, I've am i been a little bit MIA now lately on my channel. And that's because I'm just trying to get my health right, y'all. So I've been going to the gym, working out, and trying to live a healthier lifestyle. So I've been a little, you know, MIA. So yeah, you don't know. <laughs> I like this wig. I have no clue what wig this is. This is though. I have a bad habit, and I've been really trying to get on myself. But I'll take my wigs off and I'll throw them in my chair right here, and I'll just have them out. So I don't know what wig is wig. So sometimes y'all be like, "Oh, what wig you have on?" I'm like, "I don't know." Like I don't be trying like a whole like a top secret because my wigs is not no top secret. I just I just really don't be remembering what wig I have on. But if I'm not mistaken, I think because I see the box over there. And she looks similar to what I have on. I think this is Dashley uh, Unit 28. Yeah, and in the color one. Yeah, I think this wig looks like the like the little um, picture. I think this is her. So, yeah, this is the one I've been wearing a lot. I order a couple more because my original one is dead. <laughs> she is flat as a doorknob, and this one I'm trying to keep the curls alive but not wearing her that often because that other wig i wore her for like a good almost two months so that's why she went kind of dead but not bad for a synthetic wig you know and i love these kind of brushes for my wigs the little flat ones these works really good so i got this one off of um where did i get this from uh burlington's and it was only i think like three or four dollars for this brush and then I got this one that's stuck on the wig right now. And I got this one at um, on Amazon. So this one's a little bit thicker and then this one's a lot more flatter. I prefer this one because I feel like this one does not comb my curls out. And then I thought about ordering that famous um, TikTok brush, the detangler. So I had a fake dupe one because I thought it was the real deal one. And it wasn't. <laughs> Girl, that, wig, that brush almost tore and i do me tore my wig up so i'm gonna hold up while you're doing it so yeah i'm gonna get me a new one okay but let me go ahead and get ready because me sitting here i will end up being late so let me just you know be on a positive note and just leave on time and then we'll come back later on night and um clean this room up and i got some things to show you guys as well because she went shopping yeah I went a little shopping crazy. Yeah, okay. I just want to quickly show you guys what I am wearing to work. I have this, hold on, y'all can't really see. The lighting's so awful right here. But I have on this dress that's kind of like off the shoulder. There's no like, well not off the shoulder, but no, short sleeve. There we go. I couldn't get it out. Short sleeve, so I just paired it with this sweater. And then, I feel like I need to go in better lighting. Hold on. All right, you guys can see that a little bit better. Um, yeah, so the shirt, this dress, don't have no sleeves. So I got my cardigan sweater. And I like this little part right here because it like covers up your stomach that the sun is like blocking. 
and then yeah here's my little my little get up my little outfit for work the dress is a little short though i washed it and my silly self put it in the freaking dryer so yeah so here's the outfit i'm sorry the lighting has just been so awful but here she is and then I have my lunch with me. Well, dinner, because I'm going to be there at night. And then I got a cookie, because I'm rewarding myself for doing good. And then when I get back home, then I didn't work out this morning because I had a nail appointment. Oh, she got my new nails. Super cute, yes. Green, green, green. I'm here for the green. And I got them cut really, really short because yeah, I don't know because I didn't, let me get quiet. I didn't tell y'all last time, but I broke all of my nails, cut them off from the, like the knuckles <laughs> to start over. So I have fake tips. So they're growing slowly underneath. You can kind of see just a tad bit, just a tad bit. But I think in about another month, they'll be on good terms. But anywho, let me go to work y'all because I keep saying it and I'm not moving. Let's go. All right, so I'm back at home, y'all. <laughs> I did another purchase today. It was a small bag, but let me quickly show you guys the stuff really quick. Hold on. I'm about to make a bootleg tripod because my tripod is nowhere to be found in here. That tripod and it is definitely serving its purpose. Okay. Um. So I got a couple of new things I want to do. I don't know if I, I'm not going to wear anything like new right now because I got to get my skin clear, which is, this part is really bothering me. This side is fine. It's just this that's bothering me. So we'll, we'll play with some new products. Um, if it clears up by tomorrow, then I'll be able to play with it. But I did get this for the sake of what we got going on for some deep blemish patches. Yeah, I'm praying, praying that this works. So I cannot wait to clean my face tonight. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go back using my old skincare products. I gotta dig in my box and dig on my um my original routine that I was doing last January, January. Cause I tried to switch it up to February cause I felt like my skin was like, okay, we're bored, let's do something else. And it was working, the Fenty product was working, but I don't know, I was just, okay. Anywho, what else I picked up? I picked up the Marsh, is it marshmallow yeah marshmallow little the primer and the spray this is not new but it's new to me but this is new so this said it's their number one primer um i picked up the little cute little nyx of butter gloss this little keychain this is so cute so cute ain't it yeah so i got that and then of course my silly self i was like it's green that's my color i don't know if i told y'all did I say it earlier? Last month color, last month color vibe was purple. So this month is green. So I was like, let me get some green things for St. Patrick's Day. So I picked up uh, the NYX Green Vivid Liner. Is this Vivid? Yeah, the Vivid Brights. The matte liner. I got the NYX. This is my Milky Gloss Gloss. I did a little swatch of it. It wasn't really green, but the color of it is really cute. Essence had a really beautiful purple one I kept using last month. So I think that's going to give me like the same vibe. I got me a new lip oil from Juvia because my blue one is almost gone. Look, I really like these. They just get really, really messy. And I got to the point to where I started leaving my lip um, oil out. because I used to have it in my bag, but I leave it out now and it still like spills out on the outer. I don't know how that happens, but yeah. So got me a new one, of course. I had to get green. And then I got a green Vivid liner. These are like the new NYX Vivid liners to put in my waterline. Cause I feel like I'm probably tomorrow. I think I want to do like a neutral eye like I got going on right now, but then pop like maybe like green at the bottom lash line. I think that'd be really cute. And then of course I got me some face masks. Can't go wrong with a face mask. So I think I might try one tonight. Or, yeah, one in, in, that was grabbing my attention. I was reading the back of it. It says something about irritation skin. 
yeah this one the green tea this the green tea um yes yeah, it's the treat skin irritation i think this is i don't know i'm gonna call it an irritation but crazy thing although i got this going on i got so many compliments about my makeup and i ain't gonna lie i was feeling so insecure today because i was like i just kept thinking about this side not this but this right here everyone kept asking what foundation you have on what foundation you have on what eyeshadow you have on. i'm like this eye is so basic so the foundation stayed in the face was given so the face is giving giving and giving so i'm happy that everyone was enjoying it and liking it and then this is the bag earlier that i showed you guys that i was going to show you um i'm going to return this back this is the clear skin cleansing bar i think this is what broke me out i got the little mini uh travel size one and that's the only thing i could think of is what's breaking me out because that's the only thing new i've done so i think i'm just gonna not even try this I don't know. I don't know. I had to get me some makeup remover wipes, so I did get two packs of these because they go very quickly in here. I throw it over there. I'm gonna put them in my drawer. <laughs> me and my green theme vibe. Um, this is also with 50% off, so that's why I took advantage of it. But this is an anti blemish face mask, and it's green. And I never tried anything from this brand. I've heard good and bad things about it. Next, I picked up the brightening um, under eye powder from Jaclyn Hill. And then I picked up another product from Jaclyn Hill. This is the Press Bronzer. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I think she's definitely like going out of business. If not fully out of business, definitely on the O2 website because a lot of her stuff is freaking uh 50% off oh here's the gloss that I was talking about so I actually have one already that I've been using I lost it in my room and I really liked it I didn't know if my kids grabbed it or if my oldest grabbed it and took it so I said let me just buy me another one but this is such a beautiful gloss it's so shiny it reminds me of the Maybelline gloss lifters like it's like super super glossy she is so so pretty so let me put that on my desk and don't lose her and then I also picked up um, a couple of the Jaclyn Hill blush liquid blushes I'm so sorry I feel so sorry for her because these things right here I've already been wearing one it's been on my desk for like a good like three weeks now these are amazing these are super amazing i honestly want to say they're better don't hate me but they're better than the juvia blushes and i think the reason why i really really like these is because juvia blushes i don't think they're geared to be like matte blushes but this right here i don't even know if it says it it says blurring cheek tint which is crazy but the one that i tried so far that pink one it is so vibrant it is so pigmented and it's matte so like when i blend it out like it's it's there it's it's there you know so yeah those are all the things i got oh nope i lied i lied i got one more thing to show you all right i got a couple of random things i got from Oton. i think a couple of things i got from amazon it's kind of like mixed in this box um, I got the Ultra Stretch Material. Um, where does it say it? I think, did I get the wrong ones? These are supposed to be more like they're translucent, like they're supposed to be super thin and see through. We're going to give them a go though, but it don't even say that on here, but it said it on Amazon. I don't know. I always, I'm always misplacing my wig caps where they get, you know, stretched out. So, yeah. All right, a couple of things I got. I got this for free at work. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Pillow Talk lipstick. Um, I purchased this one because I didn't know they had a beautiful dark brown. I don't know if my camera is going to capture that, but it is such a beautiful dark brown. I swatched it and it is so pretty. I got my favorite liquid liner back. This is the Essence Liquid Liner. This thing is everything i didn't even know it was waterproof this is why i love it so much it is everything all right i also picked up the jaclyn hill concealer because i didn't know she had concealers 
Um, so I got this from the Ulta website. And then I finally picked up the Lift Form, the new Morphe foundation. And then with the purchase of this, I got the foundation brush for free. And then, darling, what is this? Oh, just a couple of free goodies I got from work. That and a couple other randoms. Yeah. Anastasia pencil, bra powder, all free from work. Yeah, another one free from work. And these are not even shades I use, but yeah. Um, next, I got the Power Move. This is a loose setting powder. Y'all see the color, right? I'm praying that this is a cute, cute one. If not, then she goes back to the market. I got the Revolution Foundation. That's new to the market. And then with everything going on, I got, um, I wanted to try out the little setting powders from Morphe. And I like this one because it came with both of the shades that I was eyeing. So yeah, this is kind of new too as well. Cause they didn't sell this in a set. So two little minis, the white one, and then of course the pink one. So I'm excited. We got some new things. So I feel like every day that I do, well not every day, but every time I do my makeup, I want to grab at least like one thing from here or at least two, depending on what it is. If it's like a face product, I'll probably use like maybe one new things to keep my eye on it, especially if it's like foundation so I don't break out. But other than that, I feel like I should be doing that so that way I'm utilizing my new products um, like I did today. So the blush held up really good and everything. It looks good. I'm going to keep her. I'm just, I'm really curious on how this orange one is going to play out. So I got to think about what kind of look I want to do tomorrow because I want to do a green liner and I want to do that orange blush. Yeah, but that's all I have to share with you guys. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm about to clean up, but I'm actually about to work out now because I didn't work out this morning. And I got to stay committed to this little 30 day challenge that I'm doing. If y'all know what I'm talking about, follow me on my other YouTube channel and explain everything there. Okay, I like my gym outfit. Um, I don't think I'll be comfortable wearing this to the gym. Probably with like a, a top over there, but this sports bra is not supportive at all. Is this actually an actual gym outfit? It looks kind of like a lounge wear, but yeah, I don't feel like the sports bra is going to support the girls. They look cool right now, but in due time, in due time, they'll probably fit. Look, yeah, it, hold on. <laughs> Do I got it on the right size? Cause the back looks a little longer. Is this the front? How do I know which which side is which? Oh well. Yo, know, my skin looks so much better compared to yesterday. I'm trying to show you guys because this light is like super bright right now. Yeah, they went down a lot. Let me show y'all my old uh, skincare routine that I kind of stopped. That I'm definitely <laughs> bringing back on rotation. Oh, and I got to show you guys some bath stuff too that's been smelling really good on the body first off yeah i need to return this i think this is what was breaking me out um i'm gonna return it today at work but let me show y'all with this this right here if you like a lemon lime smell this smells so good it's an amazing hand soap okay all right so really quick <laughs> i'm getting distracted but i went back to using well i've been using this but i wasn't using it the way i was supposed to so i'm back using my um this is dermalogica right why is the brand not familiar now yeah on the side yes dermalogica my skin is bougie dermalogica and then my um, retinol serum or oil from Drunk Elephant. Those were like the two main key pieces that I was using faithfully and I stopped. So they're back on heavy <laughs> rotation. So, and for moisturize, I kind of just go what I feel like because I feel like that retinol oil, it gives you your hydration. So last night I just went in with the um, It Cream 
this is a really good hydrated cream so that's all i go with um let me show you another one of my favorite hydrating ones this is by i think this is called saturday skin is that the brand i don't know what the brand is but this is what it looks like this will have your skin look like glass y'all this looks so amazing on the skin um and that was almost out and i couldn't find it my daughter was touching it i'm like girl don't touch my stuff <laughs> gosh having a preteen or teenager whatever you want to call it is so hard she starts touching everything it's just like stop it stop it <laughs> um yeah that's pretty much it um for the morning routines um i just pick like a random like cleanser just to you know take off the oils and stuff so i went in with this today and i think i've used this a couple of times i want to say this is like my second bottle i think i have another one i think i do for sure it's like kind of more like halfway for i don't know where it's at i got skincare products everywhere around this house. okay the cabin don't want to open but yeah we're returning this today because i can't deal with it but y'all I don't even want to tell y'all this because I don't want it to be sold out, but I like to put y'all on some really good things. Run to Wally World. Run to Walmart. This smells so amazing. So I use this. I've been using this paired with the, um, sorry, yes, I'm in my bathroom. Paired with the Rainbow Sherbet from Tree Hut. Y'all talk about smelling like an apple martini, a uh, girl amazing i'm just trying to find a fragrance um that's going to go with these to really kind of like play off the smells to make those scents kind of last longer on me so if y'all got any good recommendation of like apple scents or lime notes perfumes let me know but i'll probably find one by the time i post this video but yes that's been smelling so amazing but let me get ready i'm actually i've been doing so good I'm doing so good yeah okay i'm about to leave from uh for work i cooked my breakfast well my lunch right now during this time so i was trying to wait for it to cool off i got my fish and then i packed a salad y'all i ain't even playing i've been going so hard on eating right and my water is empty so let me refill that up for today but yeah i'm so excited i feel like my face is like slimming down just a tad bit or either i just did a really good job contouring today i don't know something <laughs> something is showing but today is officially seven days of me doing this for a full on week the longest i've ever been consistent with anything <laughs> with my weight loss journey so let me go ahead and pack things up and i'll see y'all a little later so also for my face today i was like being that i felt so bad yesterday of everyone asking what was on my eyes and face well the face was Ulta related stuff but I felt bad for the eyes because I felt like everyone kept, kept asking and I was just like I can't lie to y'all like I'm not gonna be like oh it's this palette when it's really not that palette and sometimes they want us to do that and I don't like lying I really don't especially something like that it's like that's so silly so today I made myself <laughs> Uh, use stuff that's I know for sure is still at Ulta. So we got a Morphe palette on the eyes, Color Pop on the bottom lash line. Uh, this car is going so this car is going so fast. Um, Charlotte Tilbury on the lips, Kylie on the lips. We got Rim Beauty for the face. Like we got Ulta um, all up on the face. So I'm excited for that. I'm so happy that my skin is clearing up. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Jesus. And y'all, we're only in March and it's starting to warm up already out here. And I'm a little nervous because that means we're going to have a really, really hot summer. And for y'all who don't know, um, I don't like summer. I really don't. And I think Vegas kind of like steered me off from not liking summer. Because I used to love summer in California. That's where I'm from. So going to the beach and stuff like that, like that was like summertime fun, you know. And I went to amusement parks and stuff. So... When I moved out here, like summer <laughs> was like torture, it's like suffocating. It's like you don't want to do anything because it's too hot for you to actually do anything out here. You just want to sit in the house and run your um, AC bill up. It, it sucks. So I'm not looking forward to having a 300, 300 something dollars uh, 
AC bill for the summer, but I feel it like kicking in, like it's already starting to warm up and it's kind of scary. But besides that, I need to start um, ordering me some summer dresses. Cause like the one I have on right now, baby, I need her in every color, every color, every color. It's like a little baby doll dress. I guess that's how you describe like the style of it when it's kind of like flowy, but short. And the way that it's kind of like layer, I think it's because my boobs so. But the front is a little bit short and then the back drapes a little bit more longer. So I kind of like, like this and I really like it because it covers up the butt. So I don't have to worry about if I bend over or anything like that. Like it's going to show my booty and everything. And usually I'll put shorts on underneath this but I forgot to put my shorts aside. And I didn't feel like going upstairs digging for it because I didn't want to be late. So that was my fault because usually I do wear shorts underneath this. But um, it's okay. We're not doing no bending over and stuff like that. So, and it's not windy, so I don't have to worry about the wind catching the butt cheeks <laughs> today. So, um, I'm excited. Today I just woke up feeling really, really good. I'm really, really happy. So, uh, I'm on time. So, the traffic's a little, a little behind, but we good though. <sighs> today is Friday, y'all. I'm trying to hurry up. I did something that I've never done before, but I think it's going to be a thing. I got up really early, did my makeup before getting the kids ready for school. I know, who am I? Oh, did I? Okay, never mind. I just was looking at my face. I'm like, wait, did I forget? Never mind. Okay, so um, I'm going to come back in and take my pictures, but I'm up early. <sighs> got my daughter up early. Like, I'm on perfect schedule. Like, I can't complain. So I'm about to comb her hair. I already got her dress. And then the boys are already still knocked out, of course. Y'all, this time change thing threw me all the way off today. So I'm like running really, really behind on getting to work, but I think I'll make it on time. I'm trying not to speed, <laughs> but oh gosh, time change. I didn't get the notification <laughs> that it was supposed to change today. So I thought I had a whole extra hour, but no, I lost an hour. So anywho, good morning. How y'all doing? Um, I'm gonna close the vlog off today so because I was like I didn't close the vlog off blah 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 and I usually close the vlog off on a Saturday but today is Sunday so I just want to promptly close the vlog off dang it I forgot the item I was gonna return today too I was gonna return the Grim Beauty um, blush but it's okay whatever um, I like my makeup though it's really like this orange is like really vibrant in person I think the combo is giving. It's giving. Um, but I I will give you guys an update. I got some things we're doing um, on the channel. Things we're doing for uh, for my room. I'm, I'm redesigning it. <laughs> or should I say actually getting it organized. So I'll give you guys an update when I get back home. I have a really, really short shift today. So I'll be back in like 2.5 seconds for you guys. Priscilla, did you smell this? Yeah, it smells pretty good. It does smell good, right? Okay. It has my notes in here. That jasmine and orange. Mmm. I don't smell vanilla, which is good. This smells really good. Oh, Jesus. 